In this video, I'm going to talk about the role of the technical sponsor in a digital transformation project and how critical this role is to the success of the project. As we all know, digital transformation is very difficult. More than two thirds of projects don't succeed, don't meet targets, or just get stuck in pilot purgatory. And there are many reasons for digital transformation challenges. The top, top ones, including implementation may be too slow. Most projects take multiple years. And as the project gets stretched out, it becomes more risky to failure. Many projects cannot demonstrate significant business value and therefore don't get anywhere. A lot of these projects cannot get user commitment. This is because today there are so many digital projects, digital products, and users get pretty tired of you know, executives trying to get them to use the digital products. So getting the end users to commit to digital transformation products is getting more and more challenging. Finally, there are always a lot of naysayers inside organization. They are skeptical for the right reasons or the wrong reasons, and often they can stop digital transformation from going through. Because of all of these reasons, digital transformation is challenging. And here is where the technical sponsor can play a critical role in pushing the digital transformation projects to success. Before we go there, let's look at the digital transformation org chart. Say that, let's say you have a billion dollar enterprise. Um, the typical structure is that you have a C-suite, which is actually always very interested in digital transformation because that's something they can talk to the shareholders, they can talk to their board. Um, it's just that because digital transformation is so difficult, they are cautious, they are skeptical. So you need to show results to, to prove to them that you have something going on. And under the C-suite, there might be a few levels depending on how big the organization is, but there will be a executive sponsor. This is somewhere, someone where the digital transformation really affect their organization. Therefore, they are willing to sponsor the project. And under the executive sponsor, there is the technical sponsor. The technical sponsor is often the project lead of the digital transformation effort. And typically the technical sponsor would very, work very closely with the tech team. And they would also um, get the end users to use the digital product to see how effective they are. So getting adoption from the end users. And in addition to those two groups, there are also other groups that the technical sponsor needs to deal with. For example, the IT team, data team, sometimes digital team, clearly procurement. And most of those organizations are actually not directly under the command of the technical sponsor. And a lot of times a tech team may not even be under the direct command. So this makes the technical sponsor's job difficult but necessary in order to get success. So now let's look at what makes a good technical sponsor. Now the technical sponsor should have a big vision. They should be very excited about the digital transformation and they can see that the long-term impact is incredible. So they're willing to take on this major task, but they always take very small fast and measurable steps so that they can make sure that the digital transformation is going in the right direction, one step at a time, rapidly. They're also able to get buy-in across the org chart. They need to make sure that their executive sponsor understands why the execution strategy is what it is. They also need to make sure that the other parties in the organization either support the project or at least don't try to stop the project. Because there are many voices inside the organization, especially if you have some early success, 
there are going to be so many different voices telling you what to do, going in all sorts of directions. And if you are not careful, you could now be so spread out and you are actually not going to be successful. So the technical sponsor needs to be very firm on a single path while taking in everybody's opinions. The technical sponsor needs to also be able to motivate all the parties involved in the project. Often the parties don't have the same background. For example, the tech team and the end users can come from very different background. So the technical sponsor needs to serve as that bridge to make sure that all the different parties can understand each other, get the necessary information from other parties to get the job done. Finally, um, the KPI a, of the project should be a measure of the technical sponsor's uh, performance. This is because if the technical sponsor's KPI is not directly tied to the success of the digital transformation project, they may not have the motivation to get it done. So these are the important roles. And I would even say, if you cannot find a capable technical sponsor, you should probably not start a digital transformation project. So now if you have a good technical sponsor, how do you ensure that they could execute successfully? We do have something called a digital transformation playbook, which is a step-by-step -step, uh, process in executing digital transformation projects. So this is something that we've been using quite a bit and getting very good results. We don't really want it to publish it directly on the website, but if you are a company that's going through a digital transformation and you would like to see how a successful digital transformation process looks like, we're happy to share that with you. Please reach out to us on our website or through YouTube, and we're happy to share that information. Now, we wish everybody good luck to their digital transformation processes. And if those are successful, we have seen amazing transformations, not only for the company involved, but also for all the individuals involved in the process. Thank you very much.